Hey YouTube, Dell 3090s. Love them, love to hate them, not sure. But I'm just getting started on these ones and I wanted to show you guys a little tip. Let's dive right in. Dell, why you be putting stickers on your heat plates? Step one, if you want to improve your thermals, get rid of the stickers and clean it off with some isopropyl alcohol or, or rubbing alcohol. Next, see all this heat transfer space? That's needing to make contact with this. Put a bunch of thermal grease right on there. From everything I've read, most people are saying they don't get a lot of benefit from changing out the pads. So don't change out the pads. You can have nice fancy pads, but guess what? Dell uses weird sizes on the front. That's the front. Don't get the weird size stuff because it'll warp your card and make it weird. Where you can replace the pads is on the back. So 1.5 millimeters. There you go. Um, considering a passive kind of thing on the back, maybe doing a little light duty extra heat sink just to soak up some more heat. But uh, the thermal pads from Dell are actually pretty good stock on this particular card. So just like you do with your 3080s, give yourself some good old thermal grizzly cry knot or something. Whatever works for you, whatever floats your boat. I'm not claiming to be an expert, but I dabble with this stuff and hope you guys have a great day. Together, it's amazing what we can do on YouTube. See all these people sharing a little bit of knowledge here and there. I love it. I guess I'm not done. So one more thing is that this cryonaut um, absorbs a lot more heat than other brands. It does 12.5 um, watts, in, in, you know what I mean. And the standard Cooler Master stuff is like seven. So get yourself some good, good paste on there. It makes a lot of difference. And this is about how much I'm going. I know that's a lot. It ended up being about, yeah, I, I finished off two of the small ones and then I had half of a tube of the big one. So it's kind of a lot, but worth the investment. If you got an expensive card, put enough thermal paste on there. All right, here's the Dell 3090 pre-upgrade. Um, we're hashing at about 115 and our VRAM is uh, 108, so it's pretty nice and toasty. I'm not going to let it go, but it probably would go all the way to 110. Uh, let's see what we can get with some thermal upgrades. All right, and here's the final results. You can see I'm getting 115, 114 mega hash, uh, and it's currently going between 98 and 100 C on the VRAM. So that's, you know, a good improvement. It's not as happy as my uh, Founders Edition that I was able to get down to 86 with a thermal upgrade, but still not too bad. And uh, yeah, I mean, for the most part, pretty happy with that. At least it's not pushing the, you know, 100 plus or whatever.